Coogan Cassius for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. We're at the press conference here for Joshua versus Parker. I'm joined by the WBO heavyweight champion, Joseph Parker. Welcome back to England. Good to be back. Yeah. Always great to be back, actually. It's my it third, fourth time. Didn't seem like too long ago. That obviously, you were victorious uh, up in Manchester against Yui Fury, and now you're back here. No, no. It's, uh, that was a great, actually, that was a great um, sort of establishing fight here to, in the UK or here in Manchester, London. But um, now that we're back for a, a bigger fight, a lot bigger than that it was. Now, a lot has been said uh, for over a, a consecutive amount of months to try and sort of get this fight and the split you want and the terms kind of you were happy with and their camp was happy with. So are you happy with everything, uh, the way things have gone? I think, yeah, like you said, our team's happy with what's been hap hap happening in lockdown. Their team's happy. So I think now that everything's sort of settled, it's time to work and it's time to leave all that stuff away now. And, time to get to the gym and start burning off those pies. Some of the comments obviously have been made a lot by your promoter Dave Higgins and we, we've got to know Dave a little bit over the last <laughs> year and you know we know Dave obviously says some things for effect and also he believes a lot of the things but um, he believes that you will knock um, Anthony Joshua and you believe that as well. Yeah I believe that um, I believe that if we have a great training camp we want to be prepared, the best prepared Joseph Parker this year. We're going to sort of fight, and I, I, I definitely, I believe that I'm going to beat him. I'm not sure when, or not sure how, but I believe that I can beat him from points or knockout. You know, I, I truly believe that. Do you believe Anthony Joshua has a glass chin? I believe that he's, you know, being dropped. It shows that he's got weaknesses in his chin. So it's just, you know, and, and some of these things we say is to help promote the fight and help help actually lock the fight in. If we didn't say these things, we wouldn't be here. So we believe that he's a weak chin. We believe that I have a granite chin. So it just comes down to who's gonna, you know, who's gonna catch who first. The press conference you had in New Zealand where kind of, you know, I know it was more Dave that's kind of highlighting these facts with this video with fighters coming on and saying that they've alleged, allegedly dropped Not, yeah. Anthony Joshua, inspiring some footage from his amateur days, but I mean, do you take confidence from that, Joseph? I don't take confidence from seeing him being dropped. I know different fights bring out the best in you, and I believe he's just going to be the best Anthony Joshua, but I don't get confidence in watching him get dropped. I have confidence in the work that I do in the gym, and the team I have around me, and just being focused on what I have to do. There'll be 80,000, 90,000 people in Cardiff. Um, I'm sure you've kind of seen snippets of the, the atmosphere yeah, to expect. I have, I've uh, seen it. Yeah, how, how are you going to cope with that? I'm, ex I, I'm looking forward to it, you know, it's, because it's something new. I think there were, we're four in front of 10 to 15,000 people on a smaller scale, but this is a different sort of ball game altogether. And I'm, I'm looking forward to walking in front of those many people and seeing how it's going to affect me and I'm going to put on a great performance. There might be 70,000 cheering for him and 10,000 for me, but it doesn't matter. As long as I have my team there, my family there, trust me, I'll put on the best performance of my life. I believe Tyson Fury put a tweet out saying he's willing to bet me on £5,000 that you knock Anthony Joshua out. What, I mean, what did you make of that when he put Thank that you out? to the Gypsy King, man, <laughs> for having my back. <laughs> um, no. no, Tyson Fury is a great guy. I'm, I'm actually... I'm actually um, Happy to see him training again, and I'm looking forward to seeing him come back as well. What did you make of Joshua's persona today in the press conference, and kind of the first time you two have properly sort of had that interaction? He was very, he was relaxed. I think he was trying to you know, sort of explain some of the things that we said, and it you know, might have been a bit of anger, but he's more relaxed today, but still respectful. Is the plan for 2018 to to get all the belts? So is it going to be Joshua and then Wilder? Is that is that the plan? The plan for you? is to beat Joshua, get all the belts, and Joshua's next fight will be the rematch against me. That's the plan. Okay. That's <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to see how that pans we'll out. We'll see how, if that plan works. You know. Joseph, have you got anything finally you'd like to add before we go? Um, just to say, everyone tune in for this great fight. It's going to be a great fight with two champions going at it. It's going to be some big punches thrown. Hopefully it doesn't catch me, but it catches him. But it's, uh, no, I'm looking forward to March 31. Joseph Parker, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV.